Well, welcome back everyone to our program on addiction recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And we've been talking about the idea that maybe the most fundamental cause of why someone uh, gets hooked on a drug is not so much their brain chemistry or some kind of learned behavior, but, but the... But the idea of the meaning that they give to intoxication. And so some more uh, interesting scientific evidence to support this uh, from the addiction psychologist is we've asked a lot of people who are not addicts how they made sense of their drug use or what we might call the recreational use of drugs. The most common one, obviously, is alcohol. We know, we know that the vast majority of people who use alcohol uh, run into no problems at all. But there are other drugs that people use, so uh, like um, amphetamines, right? And when, so for a typical example might be, oh, a student who's got some exams coming up and they want to be able to study through the night or maybe a long distance truck driver who might use amphetamines to keep alert during the trip. Or there are other instrumental uses. Uh, uses. So for example, there might be um, uh, somebody who loses their favorite pet to cancer and then is, is gonna use alcohol to like drown their sorrows. But after the um, they overcome their grief, then alcohol is no longer seen for that purpose, and so they don't need to drown their sorrows anymore. That type of, uh, there are people who use it in, in ritual circumstances. Eric Clapton talks about using uh, heroin as almost a rite of passage for a blues musician, and obviously not all blues musicians are heroin addicts. So What's the difference then? You know, why why do some why do some people get hooked on it and some people don't? Well, the ones who don't get hooked on it, who use these uh, drugs, what we might call recreationally, or what the psychologists call uh, the instrumental use of drugs, seem to see them as like this temporary, uh, 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 a temporary fix for some specific issue, like oh. I'm going to a party and I want to meet people because I'm new in town, so I will join them in, in drinking and that way. So it's a social thing, right? Or maybe, uh, I don't know, I have to go, uh, I'm really scared of flying and geez, I'm really nervous, so I'll take a benzodiazepine so that, that will calm me down and I'll get over my fear of flying. But if I'm not flying, I, I, don't, I don't use this, right? So the, the, these are typical of the meanings that instrumental users uh, use a drug for. Maybe it's a method to uh, calm me down. It's a method to keep alert. Maybe it's a, like a form of medication. These sorts of things. Now, if you talk to people with addiction problems and ask them the meaning that they give to something, it's, it's wildly different, right? So just as some famous uh, 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 addicts who wrote about their addiction, people like uh, Charles Bukowski wrote Barfly, where he talks about drinking. The meaning that he gives to drinking is that uh, is sort of an expression of his being true to himself. Uh, the great Nobel Prize winning writer Eugene O'Neill discussed it as uh, a way of feeling that he belonged in the world, that he was connected uh, with nature and with other people. Uh, we have people who, who talked about it uh, as uh, using opium as uh, what Thomas de Quincey called the secret of happiness, the solution for all human suffering, right? Or we had people like Baudelaire, uh, uh, the writer from the last century, who, or two centuries ago now, that talked about it to use a drug to create a uh, religious or spiritual experience. And if you listen to those differences, the difference between the instrumental use of drugs and the way that, that people with addictions look at drugs, they're very, very different, right? One is temporary, time-limited, and it's... It, it's it's sort of like unnatural. It's, it's not a normal state of affairs. Versus someone like Thomas de Quincey who says, oh, here's the secret of happiness, right? 
it's it's almost like it's it, it's serving way more than a specific purpose and uh, some of my clients called it, it, it it's it's like a way of just existing in the world a way of being a very natural uh, a na very natural feeling anyway uh that's it for this episode and we'll be back next time with the uh, final episode in our series <laughs>